Hello everybody, my name is Rowan, I'm a real life CFI or certified flight instructor and today we will be beginning this short series showing off how wonderful the VATSIM network is. Now before we start I will be focusing on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 which should also transfer to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 once it's released or well hopefully at least. So what is this add-on which everyone talks so highly about? Well, Virtual Air Traffic Simulation Network, or VATSIM, is a non-profit organisation that operates an online flight simulation network noted for its active membership and realism. And yes, I did take that statement straight from Wikipedia, and you're probably surprised that some people still use that website to this date. But anyways, what this application is, is a network that essentially connects your simulator, in our case Microsoft Flight Simulator, and injects it via the VATSIM network, showing other people's aircraft in your simulator, or in other terms, a multiplayer network, for those who may not have understood what I said before. Now, I will be discussing some technical terms in this video, so if at any point you are confused and have questions, please make sure you comment them below or join our Discord, which is linked in the description, and we will try to give you an answer which makes the most amount of sense. So, how do we install this client? And how do we connect to this network? Well, let's go through the steps to get it working to the best of its ability for your simulator. Okay, so first of all, before we do start downloading stuff, we do need to create our VATSIM account. So to do that, we need to go to the VATSIM website, which is right here. And then we can click on that join button. Now it will take us to the register section of the website in which we will basically enter our full name our email address, password, our age, uh, where the country which we're living in, uh, basically the information about you as a virtual pilot. So after we click on register, it, it will send you an email and basically you just gotta go through the steps to actually confirm uh, all the information. After that, we would then need to go to the vPilot website, which is the actual client which we use to connect to the VATSIM network. So this is the home page, so all we need to do is go to download, click on the download stable, which is the most recent release. It will then download it, and then once downloaded, we can run it, basically go through the I agree, the EULA. Uh, it will ask you if you want to download your shortcuts, I do not want them, so we can untick that. And it will ask us for a destination folder, this is fine, and then essentially we just click on install. And there you go, it's all done. You can then click on uh, to launch your client or not, whether if you finish it, we're gonna do that. So once we finish downloading, it will basically launch the client. Now this looks quite plain to us, we wanna get it alive and we wanna make sure that it is actually suitable for us, for our own simulators and our own computers. So how we basically set this up is by going to the settings page as such, and then after we've created our VATSIM account and they've sent us our VATSIM ID, we can input that here along with our password, our name, our, our local airport, and then also it will show automatic at the bottom. Sometimes once you're connected, you can also choose between different servers, but that's not going to show for us right now. We can then move down to notifications. Basically, you wanna have a mono off as to what you like. I like to have these four on. And then deselect the income and text and simulator, basically. I want to know all the important information from a vPilot client. For example, if I'm getting contacted or such. Fonts, I just leave it as default. It's perfectly fine for me. Audio, this is uh, basically how we're going to configure our input and output devices. So for example, the microphone and our output, which is selected correctly. I personally do not like to disable the ADC effects, so if you do that, it's going to sound basically like a clean feed from a, from someone's microphone straight to your headphones, whereas the vPilot client distorts it and makes it sound like it's a VHF frequency. Then push to talk. Um, when you're in the simulator, you want to basically uh, configure your hardware, so for example my side stick which I've got, I've got the Thrustmaster Airbus uh, A320. What you got to do is click on set new push to talk and then press on the physical button which you want to use. 
which to me is a trigger or button number one. And that's it, simple as. Now, we're going to skip over model matchmaking for the moment because it's going to get a little bit complicated. So let's go to performance. So this is, as I mentioned before, we want to try to set up the vPilot client to suit your computer. So for example, if you do not have too powerful of a computer, you want to try to reduce this. So for example, the first one here, if the aircraft is beyond 40 nautical miles in sim, it's not going to display it on my screen. So basically, that's one less aircraft to basically render. It's all about rendering at this point, which then impacts performance. And then the maximum amount of aircraft on your screen. I've got this to 999 because I want to see every single aircraft within 40 nautical miles, but you can limit this depending on how powerful your PC really is. And then updates, I leave this on so that basically every single time you launch your vPilot, it basically checks for updates for the stable branch. And then miscellaneous, uh, automatically sets uh, Squawk Mode Charlie on takeoff. I have this unchecked so I can provide the most amount of realism, so I do this manually inside of the aircraft. And then keep window visible, I do not have that checked. So model matchmaking, well it's kind of in the name, it basically matches the models which we have installed on our simulator. So at first we're here looking at the advanced section, these are basically from what I'm aware of the default models which our simulator have or the Sobo models. However, this doesn't include all of the third party stuff like the airlines and such. So what we got to do is move to the custom rules so we can basically download and match the models or airlines to specific models and liveries. So what we do to fix the spy is adding custom rules. So in our case, what we're going to do is basically download the fly by wire client, which you may already have installed. And then we're going to go to FSLTL. All this essentially is, is basically just models for your VATSIM client to basically utilize and inject for correct models and liveries. So all you got to do is install that, which is quite easy. And then we go to add custom rules. We go to the community file, which is where the FSLTL is, in is installed to. Uh, right here. And then here we go, we have FSLTL rules, we click on open, and we're going to click on cancel because there's no point. The thing to remember as we install different types of rules if you want to, this works like a ladder. So the stuff at the top has higher priority. So if you for example have uh, a couple custom liveries which, which for our channel we have a custom VMR file for our Alpha Airways liveries. You want to make sure that those are overriding your FSLTL rules. So anything more specific which we want to override, you want to have on top. And there you go. That's essentially it. That's all of the uh, V Pilot stuff which we need to cover. And then it's just a case of loading up the simulator, clicking on connect, entering your call sign and your aircraft type and your cell cal code, which we will explain in the next video and click on connect and then basically you're on the network. So that pretty much wraps up everything we need to know about installing and setting up the vPilot client so that we can join the VATSIM network. That will be in the next episode so make sure you do stay tuned for that. If you have had any issues or have any questions regarding vPilot make sure you do comment them down below or send us a message on our discord and we'll be happy to help you out too. But until the next video, I guess we're gonna have to leave you be. So my name is Rowan, and you have been watching Information Alpha. See ya.